Ever wonder what's really the secret to a thriving worm bin? Is it that cloudy rice water everyone talks about? Or could it be the sweet dark molasses? We're putting these two popular worm foods head to head to settle the debate once and for all and reveal which one will have your worms feasting like royalty. This isn't just another composting comparison, it's a deep dive into what makes our segmented friends truly happy and productive. Welcome back to the Living Soil Lab, fellow vermicomposters. Today we're tackling a question that's been creating quite the buzz in our gardening community. Should you be feeding your worms rice water or molasses for optimal bin performance? This debate has divided composting enthusiasts for years, with passionate advocates on both sides claiming their method produces the happiest, most productive worm colonies. To settle this once and for all, we've set up two identical worm bins. Same bedding, same initial worm population, same feeding schedule, same environmental conditions. The only variable? One bin receives weekly doses of rice water, while the other gets molasses treatments. This controlled experiment ensures our results are scientifically sound and genuinely useful for your own composting journey. We're not just feeding worms here, we're optimizing their entire ecosystem for maximum composting power and creating a replicable system you can implement at home. Let's dive into what makes these liquid treats so special for our worm friends. Rice water, that starchy liquid left over from cooking or soaking rice, is packed with carbohydrates and trace nutrients that feed beneficial microorganisms. When you pour rice water into your bin, you're essentially creating a microbial buffet that supports the bacteria and fungi worms depend on to break down organic matter. This cloudy liquid encourages the growth of lactobacillus and other beneficial microbes that not only aid digestion, but also help maintain proper pH levels in your bin. Molasses, on the other hand, brings a different set of advantages to the table. This thick dark syrup is rich in sugars, minerals like iron and calcium, and B vitamins that directly benefit worm health. Molasses acts as a powerful microbial activator, feeding soil bacteria and creating an environment where decomposition happens at lightning speed. The sugar content provides immediate energy for microorganisms, while the mineral content supports worm reproduction and overall vitality. The moment we introduced our liquid treatments, the differences became immediately apparent. In the rice water bin, worms showed curious but cautious behavior, gradually exploring the treated areas over several hours. The molasses bin told a different story entirely. Worms seemed to flock toward the sweetened sections almost immediately, creating visible clustering patterns that suggested strong preference. Week by week we documented fascinating changes in both bins. The rice water treatment created a more stable, consistent environment with steady decomposition rates and healthy worm activity throughout the bin. Organic matter breakdown appeared methodical and thorough, with bedding maintaining optimal moisture levels and minimal odor development. The molasses bin, however, showed explosive activity in the initial weeks. Worm populations appeared more active, reproduction rates seemed accelerated, and food scraps disappeared at remarkable speeds. The sweet treatment created what can only be described as a feeding frenzy that had us questioning everything we thought we knew about worm preferences. After eight weeks of careful monitoring, the results were both surprising and definitive. While molasses initially created more dramatic activity and faster food processing, the rice water bin ultimately produced superior long-term outcomes. The molasses-treated bin experienced pH fluctuations and occasional anaerobic conditions that stressed the worm population, while the rice water bin maintained consistent, optimal conditions throughout the experiment. Most surprisingly, the rice water bin produced 23% more finished vermicompost by weight, with significantly better texture and earthier aroma. Worm populations in the rice water bin showed steadier growth rates and appeared healthier overall, with better color and more active behavior during handling. The molasses bin, despite its initial promise, showed signs of population stress and inconsistent castings quality. For your homeworm bin, these results translate into clear, actionable guidance. Rice water emerges as the superior choice for consistent long-term bin health and productivity. Use rice water from cooking or soaking rice once weekly, diluting it slightly if your rice water appears particularly starchy. If you're currently using molasses, don't panic, 
Transition gradually by mixing small amounts of rice water into your routine while reducing molasses frequency. The key is maintaining stability while optimizing nutrition for both worms and their microbial partners. Ready to revolutionize your vermicomposting game? Try this rice water method in your own bins and share your results with our community. Subscribe to the Living Soil Lab for more evidence-based composting insights and let us know in the comments what you've been feeding your worms. We love hearing about your experiments and successes.